Welcome back. I'll bet you had fun. The first one was experiential and you checked it yourself. The second one for the A, we're supposed to do 201 zeros in a list. Well, I put in that one just to see if I can confuse you. Whatever number you put in that range, that's how many numbers come out. Starts with zero and doesn't go to the last one. But they're all zeros, so there we have 201 zeros. Numbers and strings. You already saw this in the lecture part. We did the string of a number for each number in the range to 13 in our lecture. But here we're just going up to 9, and then we're plus joining them, so we have that string. Looking at C, we see that here's our list comprehension, and this is our pattern. We are doing a formatted string for our list elements, the name and the woo, and woo. We're making all of those to the sort of tuple of the name. And we're joining them together with comma space. And that's how they look. For the math ma manipulations, our for loop is going from 0 to 19. And our pattern is a formatted string. It's, it's 10 times that number, plus 0 0.1. And we're formatting it in a field of 6 wide with one place to the right of the decimal, that 0.1. And then we're joining those numbers together with a new line character. Now that's pretty common so that you get your list all of the pieces on different lines. And we're printing that. And we got our answer. 140 underscore 3, you were to make a make string function. It takes in a string and any number of objects, Python objects. Well, when you get a Python object and you don't know what it is, you can always make a string out of it, and you need to. So that's what we're doing as our pattern, we're making a string of that object for all of our objects, and then we are gluing them together with the glue. You'll see that we tried it here with comma space separated, and because these objects get collected in the call, here we have splayed out the range, 10, 9, 8, etc., into the call, which got collected in the objects. This one, we have an asterisk for our separator, our glue string. And we have three different objects that go into the objects. And there we see them. Well, 144 is a bit difficult to do. But it's so easy to read. Huh? Oh, Python can be like that. We're going to call our get cards function, which gives us a list of strings, each string being a card in the deck. Get cards. These are all the values that can be on a card. The x from 2 through 10, those are the numbers, plus jack, queen, king, ace. Our suits are here in a tuple. So our formatted string to be the pattern for our list comprehension is value of suit for each suit and for all the values. But we got to add on to jokers. To print them out, I wanted them to print out with and at the end. So it, comma separating all of them wasn't quite right. We wanted to com comma separate all except the last one. And that's what we're doing here. Deck of all but the last one. We're joining that up with a comma, and then we're tacking on and the last one. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next lab.